How to deploy a fully managed open source software on LSTO. Hi, in this video we will see how to run your first service on our platform. But before, let's discuss the three benefits of doing so. First, it requires no configuration and no maintenance. This means that you can focus on developing and improving your software rather than worrying about the technical aspects of hosting. It provides automatic backups and automatic updates. This ensures you that your data is always secure and that your software is always up to date providing peace of mind for both you and your users. It's not a black box. Compared to other solutions, you have full access to your VM, metrics and alerts, but also useful tools like a terminal, a file explorer, and even an online VS Code editor. And the best part, the entry price for a dedicated virtual machine on LSTO, including all of the above, is only $10 per month. This makes it an affordable option to host your open source software without breaking the bank. If you're ready to try and see the benefits for yourself, let's set up your first one together. First, go to ls.io, then hit login, create your account, and once you're done, you should land on LSTO dashboard. For today, we will only focus on the services, so let's hit create a new service, and from there, you have a curated list of fully managed services. You can browse them by categories or search them by name. Let's select Keycloak. Now you can choose the provider of your VM which offers different prices and region coverage and the configuration of your server. But don't worry, you can always upgrade it later as your project grows. Then on the next step, you can choose the level of service you want. The first one is free and includes 7 days of remote backup retention, basic support with documentation, discord and email, 3 days response time guaranteed but it's most of the time the same day. You can also add extra storage to your VM and select the appropriate time to do software and system updates for you. Now hit create and you just have to wait a few minutes before receiving an email notifying you that your service has been deployed. To access it, you can access the link from your email or go into your dashboard, going to the service, click on display admin UI to have the URL and the password. And you're ready to go. Now let's have a look at your service dashboard. You have access to many options, from basic control like reboot and shutdown to the volume and update options. On the top right, you can also clone a service, which is very useful if you want to change the region or provider of your instance. You also have access to the tools page. Let's open the VS Code Editor 1, copy the credentials, and you have access to your VM with Visual Studio Code. On the backup page, you can monitor your backups or trigger one manually, like before an important operation you plan to do. On the monitor page, you can see what is going on and if you ever need to upgrade your resources. You can also combine it with the alerts. Every instance comes with default ones that you can customize later. The audit page is useful when working on team to show you who did what and when on your service. While the security page provides you advanced options like a rate limiter or the ability to cache requests and be more resource efficient. Thanks for watching, you have now all the basics to enjoy your fully managed open source software on LSTO. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments below or by joining our Discord community. To not miss our upcoming open source software presentations or tutorials on how to use the platform, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, bye bye.